Hello everyone and welcome to another study with me vlog. Today I am going to be showing you guys how I make my posters in PA school. So posters are another great way that I have found to um, condense all the information that we have to learn and in today's vlog I will be specifically showing you how I um, summarize all my um, conditions that are in the matrix, so all the conditions that we have to learn in PA school and I'll also be showing you guys all the different um, resources that I'm using to get my information to make these posters. So I'm using my trusty colored pens that I got from Tesco and I'm also using some plain white paper that I also got from Tesco I think and I'm getting my information today on diabetic neuropathy and I'm using the BMJ website which is my second line because my um, first line NICE CKS did not have any information on um, diabetic neuropathy so I went to my backup on my second line which is BMJ and I am using my dear sim acronym to um, um, condense all the information I need to know about diabetic neuropathy so you guys might know if you've watched my previous PA school vlogs D is for definition, E is for epidemiology, A is for etiology, R is for risk factors, S is for signs and symptoms, um, I is for investigations and M is for management so I'm just um, writing down all of this, um, all this information on the poster. So this is what the poster is looking like so far, I'm just over halfway there and I decided to add in a diagram because I love pictures and that's the original right there, that was my inspiration for the diagram and it just shows I think a little bit of the pathophysiology. And this is the finished poster, so this is diabetic neuropathy, I have put in all the necessary information that I got from the BMJ best practice website and there you go first condition down many more to go <laughs> so i moved on to the next condition which was raised into cranial pressure and i started by drawing the diagram first that was the inspiration for my diagram and i am using my third line website which is patient.info or patient.co.uk because i couldn't find information on it on nice cks or on bmj best practice but um, patient.info is really good as well because they have loads of um, uh, useful information and they follow the nice guidelines as well so that's the finished poster right there and whenever I finish a condition on the matrix, I tick it off. So we're currently doing neurology at the moment, as you can see. And I just like to tick it off just to let me know that I'm doing something. So yeah. So I also thought I'll quickly show you guys some of my old posters, the ones I've done before. This one I did over Christmas. That's um, for, um, I think it was chronic kidney disease. That's benign prostatic hyperplasia. Um, urinary retention, uh, renal colic or kidney stones. Then you have this one, which is by incontinence. So it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a drawing there. This one I showed you guys earlier um, is on different causes of hematuria, and um, these are some different um, urology infections. These are my. Um, headache posters the different types of headaches i decided to draw um, a face and to show exactly where the headache would the pain would be and you can see some posters don't have drawings just because i just couldn't be bothered really um that's that's to do with epilepsy that's for encephalitis this one and that one is for multiple sclerosis which i did yesterday um this one is just for seizures, just generalized seizures um, or seizures in general. This one's my favorite actually. I did it on Wednesday when I was in GP placement during my break and I did this drawing which I really like to be honest. So that's one of my favorites and of course this is the one I showed you guys earlier so yeah. And so like I said, um, we are currently doing neurology and I'm um, looking forward to coming to the end and um, we're going to be moving on to endocrine on Monday. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any more tips on how to make posters or any other sort of study techniques that you use. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and God bless. Bye. Praise the Lord.
This is a wonderful something I'm just saying thank you 